Hello everyone! How are you today? Yeah, good? Excellent! Yes, it's me, Oshan, here again with another story that found its way here to my little story corner. And this particular story is about a remarkable young lady. Yes, indeed. I've never heard a story quite like the story of Sophie Johnson, detective genius, uh, as written down by Morag Hood and Ella Ochstad. Now then, a detective genius, I hear you say. What on earth could be a detective genius? I mean, you may have heard of detectives on the television sniffing out all those clues. So I think if you wanted to be a detective genius yourselves, you'd need a good nose for clues. So can I see your noses? Is your nose? Oh, oh no, too much nose. Too much nose. Let's not show too much nose, but you need a good nose for it. You'll need a keen eye. Eye eye. Keen eye to spot everything. He may be even without a magnifying glass, but you would also need a good ear to listen out for all the little tricks and traps and clues and conundrums that detectives can solve like that. So, I've already seen your listening ears. I've already seen your keen eyes and I've seen your no noses. Nose, you know what a nose is. But there is one final question that I must ask before we continue. Are you ready for a story? In that case, then, let's begin. Sophie Johnson, Detective Genius. The one with the sparkly colour. Let's see. Now, this must be somewhere around where Sophie lives. All these little shops. There's a Unicorn Emporium, always a very important shop. A detective agency. Number nine and number eight. My name is Sophie Johnson, and I am a detective genius. I can see that. Look at that magnifying glass. All those books she's been reading. Things like Famous Spies, Clues, Volume 5, Morse Code. Do you know what Morse Code is? It's the one with all the little beeps and boops and dots and dashes. Uh, if you were to spell S-O-S -S in Morse Code, that's why we call it dot dot dot. Dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. If you're not sure, ask your mum and dad. Maybe you'll be able to make up some Morse code messages of your own. I solve crimes and battle baddies. And I sometimes eat my vegetables. Mm, it's a very important part of detective work, especially carrots. Because they help you see in the dark. I had to study really hard to learn how to become a detective, but luckily I knew where to look. So do you think she's read all these books? Or has she just been watching the telly? What do you think? I think this person might be better at detecting and spying. I wonder who that is? Or oh, Agent Cookbook. Investigate, top secret, women detectives. Agent vocabulary. It's the type of words you need to be using when you're being a detective genius. But of course, you could also just watch the videos. This is my new assistant, Bella. She's not a very good assistant, actually. I don't know. We are the same age, but I am definitely smarter than her. Are we sure? So, Sophie says two add two is six. Is that right? Two plus two, two. That's not six. Whereas Bella, wow, she's doing like really tough stuff. That's the type of thing I had a lot of difficulty with in secondary school, when I went to high school. 
I think there's more to Bella than Sophie's letting on. Bella's not very keen on detecting outdoors. And she's a very fussy eater. But I don't time, have time to teach Bella how to be a detective. I have a lot of very important things to be doing. <gasps> it seems like there's some sort of mystery afoot already. There has been a terrible crime. And I, Sophie Johnson, detective genius, will find out who the criminal is. Oh. So, can we detect here what the crime is? It's not Bella, but I think Bella's onto something. Yes, missing tail. Oh. Sweets, a reward of sweets to the first person to find the tail. All right, in that case then, eyes on, nose on, ears on. Let's see if we can help. I get straight to work, arresting suspects and taking fingerprints. But Bella doesn't understand what being a detective is all about. Okay, you've got to question all the witnesses, question all the suspects, interrogate the suspects in their fishbowl. You need to be looking at where that ambulance is going for reasons unknown. She just tr keeps trying to show me things that I know can't possibly be important. What's that Bella's found? What do you think it is? I think, I think you may be right. I think that is the lion's tail. <gasps> I think Sophie should be listening to Bella a little bit more. But she is a detective genius. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. While I am very busy detecting things, Bella just shouts at nothing all day long. Oh, but is Bella shouting at nothing? What's Bella shouting at? Ooh. These don't seem like very kindly people, are they? What are these bags they're carrying? Hmm... She is always pestering me to play silly games with her. But I won't be distracted. I have interviews to do. Hey, I think the baby spotted something here as well. Bella's definitely spotted it, trying to warn Sophie, but... Oh, I don't think Sophie's listening. Catching criminals doesn't happen without a lot of hard work, you know. That look like hard work. I mean, juice and a sandwich. Taking your lunch. Crime never takes lunch. <gasps> so what's Bella going to do? I wonder. Oh. <gasps> what's that down there? I think Bella's set up a little trap of her own. Go on, Bella. And Bella is no help. No help at all. I would very much beg to differ, Sophie. Sophie's trying to blame the rabbit. And who are these? They are very much up to no good. They look like old robbers. Well done, and well done, Bella, for capturing them behind all of these bananas. See, easiest trap to set up in the world. Banana skins outside the front door. Slip them up before they even get inside. That brains. Bella wouldn't notice if a crime happened right under her nose. Well, I think she did. Because the policemen have come to take the robbers away and now they have the world... Oh, a very good dog was it to put on Bella. Mm. Really, it's a good job I'm here. Otherwise, there would be criminals... Everywhere. That's why they named me Sophie... No, that's why they need me. I'm sorry, I'm reading all the wrong things. That's why they need me, Sophie Johnson, Detective Genius. Well, I think we all know who the real Detective Genius is, don't we? Bella, 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 Bella. 
But well done, Sophie, for putting everyone in her little police station. But I think Bella deserves a lot more work than she got there. A lot more. I think she deserves a lot more respect. But there we are. It's always important to check fingerprints, especially all of your bunny rabbits. But as you can see, my friends, that is the end of our story for today. And what about you guys? Do you think you'd be detective geniuses, given half the chance? Yeah? Do you think you'd be able to interview people and ask all those right questions? Where were you last night? Where is my biscuit? Why is my biscuit in your mouth? That's what I had to ask my mum last time I saw her. And I never got any biscuits. I never solved that mystery. But I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out next time. And in the meantime, possibly, another story can find its way here to my little story corner. And I'll be able to share it with you. But I think it's that time again. It is indeed. I think it's time for bed. And so thank you very much for coming to see me in my little story corner. And I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. But until that time, good night everyone. Lost. Ah.